This is a video that's reconstructing it. What's interesting <clears throat> is that this is engraved on the outside of the bowl so that it shows through to the inside. Imagine how as an artist you kept the concept, the view that you wanted from the ear in mind as you tried to engrave it on the outside. What's amazing is the detail of the brushwork. You notice how finely it's got that spiral of a snail's shell. Notice the line, how precise it is in that spiral. Notice the detailed painting of each little flower. It's less than maybe three-eighths of an inch in length at best. So this is called the maquette, but that's, uh, as a design, maybe the spiros. Spe the name is Spiro. Spiro. <laughs> Interesting also that this building, or this home, uh, which lasted from the third, about well, fourth century through the sixth, also had a tunnel leading to a basilica nearby. It was a later reconstruction, but it may have well have uh, reflected the past history of this house as owned by Christians. And right now I'm right where the upper corner of my thumb is and I'll pan up to the Svetka Porgorodica church.
that one right there. The next church we'll look at is the Assumption of the Holy Virgin Orthodox Church. This one right here. And I still haven't seen the house that I want to see that's on this. Though it's not on my list of churches, but it is kind of a pretty tower. So we'll take a little look at it. That church was very novel. This is novel because the iconostasis is painted with white rather than that dark or brilliant gold. Just the symbols there that we've seen before, of course, of this Eastern Orthodox Christian Church. Now the design of this corner is interesting because it's what I've seen in Albanian cities, for example, that, where the uh, streets were as narrow as what that alleyway looks like it is. And this cut-off corner allowed for uh, the movement of goods and wagons around those corners. Whether this once was this tight a environment or not, I don't know. This was church was pretty inside in a very rustic way. The iconostasi um, was painted a, a bluish green. Um, and the floor was, the wooden floor was so old that it was bowed down in the middle. This is the site of the Danov house um, at number two, whatever the street is. But it's locked up at about 11 o'clock on uh, Saturday morning. Whatever this old building is, or this building is, they've reverted to the old trick of simply painting the detail onto the building. At least it looks better than a plain old. And this building with its painted detail is called the Yellow School, built in 1868. Imagine how plain and ugly looking this Yellow School would be without the painted detail. So we're inside this church, and I can video this because she wanted to sell me a little picture book with pictures for four left, and I just made a symbol to her. In essence, why don't I give you the four left and shoot the video, and that was fine with her. Church. Sure. 